What are you got in there? It's a bit of crack. Crack? Crack, Subhans? Relax. It's not blue, Peter. Have a nice little relaxing smoke of crack. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, my fucking life. It isn't... It bloody is. Gog! Gog? Gog! At school, if you're going to sneeze, you'd run up and do it in his face. Gog! Jeremy, what are you doing here? Wouldn't you like to know, you big prick? So what are you doing? Just running the business. You know, hiring, firing and perspiring. Business? <laughs> Look at you with your glass of wine and your jacket, just like a real person. Remember when we made you wank off Perchie's dog for a fiver? What are you doing, really? Like I said, business. Going public in April. Usernames. And I'm overseeing the edit on my first short. Honda are very interested. What, so you're actually successful? Looks like it. Yeah, just come back from three hours trying to find some music for our soundtrack that doesn't completely suck ass. But, Gog, I'm music. I make music. Right, well, maybe we should meet up and have a chat sometime. Of course we should meet up sometime and have a chat. Look, here's Superhands. We can do the music, can't we, Superhands? Tell you what, that crack is really Moorish. This is the best thing for you, mate. Take your mind off it. Maybe I should send her a bit of ear, or a finger, just to show I'm really serious. Hi, guys. Um, there's a changing room around there, if you want to. Uh, I, I thought these would be... This is salsa, isn't it? No. Oh, no, salsa's on Tuesdays. No, this is Rainbow Rhythms. It's quite full on. Mark, are you all right with that? Me? Totally. Th this looks... Cool. I've walked into my own personal nightmare. Must remain non-uptight for Sophie. Even if they make me play trust exercises with their genitals. Okay, so now we move into red. The colour of primal urges. Jesus, Mark's such a honky. I'm definitely the alphaist male here. He's probably here for community service. He looks like he's actually getting a bonk on. I'm definitely king of the hippie jungle. Take a partner! And with that partner, let the music take you into your primal self. Jesus Christ. She must be a tranny. She's no tranny. I'm not really here. It's research. I'm Louis Theroux. I'm Louis Theroux. Hey, no fair! That's my fun! Got to get in there. Look, can you please just get out of my way? Thank you. Hey, so I came with her. It's really hot. Do you fancy ducking out for a while? We're right in the middle. <laughs> Is this it? Is this what my granddad died for? The freedom to do this? Jesus! So, how did we all experience the class? <clears throat> well, um, I felt a lot of stuff to do with rejection coming up for me tonight. Um, I was dancing with someone and they made it very clear that they didn't want to be with me. Uh, and it just brought up a lot of feelings. That's all. Thanks. Yeah, there was a lot of new energy in the room tonight. And some of it was just so rainbow rhythms. And some of it was just so not rainbow rhythms. Thanks. Why don't you just say who you're talking about? You're talking about me, aren't you? Well, yes. All right. I am. Well, listen, I, I'm sorry if I didn't do it right. And I'm sorry if you assume that I eat red meat and don't necessarily think money or Tony Blair are a bad thing. But if there isn't room here for people who stand against everything you believe in, then what sort of a hippie free-for-all is this? Can't believe I'm pitching to Gog. Hope he doesn't know it was me who did the shit in his mum's airing cupboard. Please like my music, you lanky wanker. Please, please let me do the music for your Honda film. Want another beer? Sure. Follow me. 
<clears throat> he hates it. He bloody hates it. These are my guys. They had to pull a lady. So I was all, do it around my place. I've got a fridge full of beers. Plus, this way, I get to keep an eye on, which is cool. Very cool. So, about the track. Hey, you know what I fancy right now? A kebab. Will you go down and get me a kebab? You want me to... I want a kebab. What? Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Were you going to go and get me one? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't believe you are going to go and get me a kebab. I wasn't. Well, I want one now. Right. Really? No. I'm shitting you, Jess. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so, about the soundtrack. Can I do the soundtrack? I'm talking to a number of people, Jez. But if I do pick you, what I want is something classic. You remember the theme tune from Jaws? Well, I don't want anything like that, obviously. I want something completely different. I want something that when people hear it, they'll immediately go, yeah. Right. What shall I write? Can't just put not Jaws. Do you pretend writing? Are you pretending to write? No. OK, I'm going to Aberdeen. I'm going, Jeff, in a canoe made of your skin wearing your nuts as earrings. All right, Jeff? All right, Mark. So, say, tell you what, Jeff, I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. What? Yeah, really doing it, we were. Mate, I know you're pissed off about me going to Aberdeen with Soph and everything, but you need to chill, OK? You need to chill right out, otherwise... Otherwise I'll... what? What's gonna happen, you homo? Mark. Stolen any good cars lately, Mr Scouser? Hey, where's your native wit now, eh, Mr Stupid? Watch it, mate. Come on, Jeff, let's get down to it, shall we? Come on, you stupid, stinking chicken fucker. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, those chickens really love it when that big rooster Jeff comes a calling. Oh, he's bloody broken my beautiful nose. That should be more than enough for personnel to go on, don't you think? Goodbye, Jeff. What, mate? Where's, where's the other one? You're not the one I bought the lager for. Laurie knocks off at six. But he was supposed to take the. Me and Jeff in the room. He, he must have taped it. Oh, shit! Look, mate, pal, you you got to do me a favour. Hey, Jeff. What now, Mark? Yeah, so, like I was saying, your mum. I had sex with her. Mark, why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, and it was great. Mark, go home. Come on, you big pussy. Look, you've obviously got a lot of serious stuff going on. And I'm not going to make it any worse. Come on. Dick cheese, piss teeth, fish lips. Come on. Have another crack at me, Jeff. Go on, I'll fight back this time. Hit me, Jeff. It's OK. I'll get him at the bus stop. There's CCTV at the bus stop. Hey, Soph. Oh, hey, Mark. You know, I was just talking to Alan about Rod from Shapiro Finance. Don't you think we should really do something for him? Yeah. Yeah, for diabetes. Give something back to a top JLB client and give a nasty, unglamorous illness a kick in the pants at the same time. I said I'd talk to you about a sponsored something. Right. Uh, sure, we could do that, but... Um... It's fine if you don't want to. I mean, it is for charity, but I could just tell Alan you're not into it. Oh, no, um, sure. Yeah, no, of course we could do a sponsored something. Um, I could do a sponsored run. Uh, you could do a sponsored history thing, or dig, or just reading. Could do, although if we do something together, it's more likely to capture people's imagination, yeah? I was thinking maybe... Maximum physical contact, potential horseplay, swimming? Yeah, Mark, I don't think... Let's brainstorm later. Sorry, so. Sponsored Bungie. Three days to organise, a lifetime to look back on from our cottage in Dorset. Alan's going to be so pleased with us. You're right, Mark. Feel a bit safer strapped together. Oh, yeah, yeah. And sorry about the big panic. So glad she bought it. Ooh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I feel much better doing a tandem jump. God, this is great. I think I actually prefer this to sex. No responsibility. I'm strapped on. If I get a bonk on, I'll say it's a buckle. Probably be too much to think about anyway, what with the 
the falling towards the ground with only a massive rubber band between me and... What the fuck am I doing? All my normal, sensible cowardice has got overridden by stupid love. Oh, God. You all right, Mark? Yes. No, I don't know. What's the matter? I think I'm actually very hungry. How about, should we not jump and just have lunch? What? I'm genuinely really, really hungry. Too hungry to jump. You're up, guys. You're on. Look, Mark, just uh, relax and I'll be with you all the way. No, I, I don't want to go. I need a sandwich. So, uh, looks like we got ourselves a Humpty. Mark, it's too late to back out now, so just try and stay calm. Come on, Humpty. All you've got to do here is cling on to your girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. Stop calling me Humpty. Look, come on, Mark. No, no, no. I'm hungry. Oh, all right, I'm, I'm too bloody hungry Look, Mark, to jump. I'm too bloody hungry to jump. Oh, I'm, I'm starving. It's not fair. It's not fair. You can't make a hungry man jump. No, no, don't. You do not just undo that. Look, I'm st- I, I am hungry. I'm telling you. Thanks so much. It all makes a difference. I really don't think we should be doing this. Why not? Who loses? It just feels dishonest. Wake up, Soph. You think no one mind at Live Aid? The ends always justify the means. That's been proven. Doesn't it prick your conscience at all? Look, it was a hell of a long way down. A lot of people would be scared to even go up there. Those people probably wouldn't have volunteered for a charity bungee jump. Soph, there's no need to go sarcastic. Listen, I've got a plan. Trek the Andes. I've got a mate and he did it. Two weeks in Peru and we can totally stick it to arthritis. Listen, Mark, I know you're doing this to spend some time with me and I appreciate it, I do. But the Jeff situation, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Sorry, Mark. I have entered the abyss. I have bought a house in the abyss. I'm getting my post forwarded to the abyss. So, Hans, old issue, I know, but the band name. I mean, I know it's a statement, obviously, but what does a statement mean? There you go, three munchies. Did you just nick this? Of course I did. You should be paying me to eat this shit. Wow, oh, free choco. Mmm, tasty. The secret ingredient is crime. So, listen, Jez, about the band. You know Pete Preston's outfit, the executioner's bong? Yeah, a bunch of wankers. Exactly. Well, they've kind of asked me if I'd front them for a couple of gigs. What? Yeah, so... Obviously, I'm going to have to quit coming up for Blair. You can't be in two bands at once. Tom Petty tried that with the Heartbreakers and the Wilburys. Nearly killed the fucking guy. But what about me? None of this makes any sense, Two Pants. Besides, you still owe me for the big computery thing we don't know how to work. All right, look, maybe I can get you in on Maracas. I won't be Bez. I want to be in there on Merit. I don't think you'll make it in on Merit. Just get me in. Then we'll see about Merit. This is great. So great to see you guys down here. This place is just fantastic, Gwen. Isn't it fantastic? Amazing. Brilliant. Yeah, we should probably think about heading off. Nonsense. You're here. Enjoy. Hey, I'll tell you what. Let's all take a swim. Yeah, nice idea, but no stuff. So, we better be off. On a day like this, what stuff do you need? Sorry, I can't possibly enjoy the fresh water against my skin. I haven't got my stuff. All right. I don't need stuff either. Yeah, forget stuff. Let's have it. Is there no stuff I can borrow? I really do feel much more comfortable with stuff. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. Come on, Mark. Get the pants off, dude, and come on in. (laughs) I I might keep them on, actually. Oh, come on, Mark. Don't be a party pooper. Get them off. Yay! Yay! Come on. (laughs) No way. No fucking way. I'm not sure I want to swim, actually. I might just watch. Oh, off, 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 off. Come on, we've all got them off. Get them off. We're having fun. <laughs> dead, dead, seriously, don't. I'm pulling your pants down, Mark. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off me. I'll do it. All right? I- I'll do it. In my own time, I'll do it. Okay, done the hard part. They've seen and rated my penis. Now it's time to take advantage of the whole 60s vibe to get it on with Sophie. This place is amazing, Gwen. How can you afford it all? Well, I guess I've just been very lucky. Money's an energy, and uh, lots of it has always flowed towards me. Particularly after my parents died. Cosmic. 
Yeah, well, that might sound funny to you, but it was actually quite a painful time. No, I just meant, you're not going to out-hippie me, you fucking hippie. This place has great energy. Yeah. I remember when I first spent time down here. I was 14 years old, and I came down here all alone, just with a candle and an old, old copy of Henry Miller. And I just had the most amazing wank. I mean, it really just bust me open. I, I couldn't believe that I had this instrument right there. Isn't it amazing, that first big wink? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what we used to do down here when we were kids. Spin the bottle. That whole thing. <laughs> hey. Why not? Why don't we just fucking go for it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, whoever's on kisses whoever the bottle stops at. Cool? Yeah. Mark? Say no. Ask her to go for a walk. Sure, yeah. Okay, so Jez, you're on. And it's... Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Mark. Okay, so what happens? Spin again? Sure. If you can't handle it, spin again. Oh. I can handle it. I just wasn't sure about... Mark. Where you stand on taboos. I'm not uptight. I'm not uptight. I hate taboos. Well, me too. I break them. Me too. I, I love breaking them. Oh, no, no, no! I can't believe this is happening. He doesn't even floss. I tell him, but he won't. Jesus, when can we stop? Don't stop first. If I don't mind looking gay, I'll seem the most hetero. At least it's Mark. Oh, Jesus, it's Mark! Wow, Mark. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so, Nancy's on. This is probably how the Manson family started. Come here, you. Come on, folks, there are other people waiting to... Oh, okay. The squalor. It's happening. It's Woodstock. It's Altamont. It's my lie. Although, Sophie's hand on my thigh, maybe there's a time and a place for squalor. Sophie, your hand... Oh, look. Gwyn's feeling me up. I'm Louis Theroux. I'm Louis Theroux and his wry smile at the orgy. Mark, are you into this? Because you don't look that into this. No, no. Th this is great. I'm... I'm into this. Because I'm not sure I'm into this. You're not? Brilliant. How long is Dust Boot, exactly? Four and a half solid entertainment hours. So, I, I was talking to Jeff the other day, and it seems he doesn't actually mind me being round here at all. I don't want to go into all that now. Right, it, it, it's just, you said... Yeah, I think I, I thought it would be simpler for us to keep a distance at the moment. Right, because of feelings. No, not because of feelings, just simplicity. Right. <laughs> Got my emotional meat hook in, now time to waggle it around a bit. I suppose I was kind of surprised Jeff was cool about me coming over here. I mean, you and I, we do have a bit of history. Yeah, well, history's history. Yeah, although new volumes keep being published. That's not a saucy metaphor. I mean, I might try some of my moves. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my moves are nothing, are they? You know, you ought to be careful wearing tops like that. I am a man, after all. Oh, are they in a submarine? Yes, they're in a submarine. All right. Sorry I'm a bit late. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> come on, gorgeous. Let's get you to bed. Jeff, you're watching a film. Stupid video or comfy warm bed? Well, Mark, it's nearly finished anyway, isn't it? No, not really. Oh, well, it's, it's been um, pretty good. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping her warm for us, mate. Sure. No problem. You can uh, 
Let yourself out, yeah? You're a bottler, Corrigan. You couldn't bungee, you wouldn't lunge. Maybe I'm too nice. I should have tried. Hey, baby, suck this! No, it's not my style. Got to stick to my own unique methods, my homespun charm. Also, I'd never be able to carry it off. Psst, Mark. Jeff. Got a bit of a mission for you, mate. Need a few of the old rubber johnnies in there. I'm not dressed in stuff. You want me to... No, I don't think so, Jeff. Well, do you have a problem with that? Why would I have a problem, Jeff? I'm just a mate round seeing a couple of mates. This is it. This is my lowest ever. Wish I'd told him to fuck off. Except then, I'd never be allowed back. Okay, right. Featherlight. Don't want him to enjoy it any more than is strictly necessary. Ultra strong. Yeah, he won't feel a thing. But then maybe he'll last longer and... Oh, Jesus, this is a minefield. Serve him right if I prick them all with pins and then... Sophie got pregnant and therefore he ended up getting married? Got to think through these plans more. I'll just go for these. Coloured. At least that'll make him look faintly ridiculous. <laughs> I win. In the most minor way possible. <laughs> you won't be laughing so hard when the loan repayments kick in, buddy. I suppose you can always defer. OK, it's showtime. What's the line? What's the line? Just swinging through town, thought I'd check what's hot at the arts fac. Yeah, and after she's thrown up, we can go for a pizza. Is that her? I think that's her. <coughs> hello? Hi, sorry, H hello? Shit, shit, where's she going? I'm not licensed to be in this far. I'm following her, shit. What am I going to do next? Take secret photos and blow them up on my wall and lie masturbating in my own filth? Sorry, do I recognise you? Uh, the shoe shop? Black brogues? I thought I was broad-footed. You felt otherwise. Wow, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, sorry, you're obviously a student. You're doing history too? Uh, yeah. Wow, who's your tutor? Professor Netball Kaiser Soze McLeish. Right, of course, you're here for the tutorial. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. They'll soon knock that out of me. Along with any individuality. Not that I've got any. OK. Come on. To you. Why am I walking into the jaws of death? The jaws of death are best avoided. That's common knowledge. Yes. So, here we are. Another exciting troll down the vista of history. There is no new history, only new historians. <laughs> Were you here last week? Me? This is my moment of madness. This is my Clapham Common. Uh, no, I, I'm new. I, I'm mature. I, I, I went to Coventry for a week in error. Lovely. Totally destroyed in the war, obviously. But th there was a mix-up. I'm not on the forms, but I'm here now. Well, obviously. Fine. So, um, Cross and Reed, what did you make of it? Is that it? Is that how easy it is to steal some education? Jesus Bloody hell, who's in charge? The, the world's just people Jesus walking around, status. going into rooms and saying things. It's all a big swizzle. I, I thought there were some contradictions in the book. They seem to suggest Christ Galilee was culturally Roman. Not that old fallacy. But the Romans didn't station a legion in Galilee till what? 130 AD? Yes, indeed. But I suppose all research funding leads to Rome. What was your name again? Corrigan. Mark Corrigan. I'm doing it, Dad. I'm studying ancient history and there's not a thing you can do about it. Look, I don't need to buy a ticket. I'm in the band. I'm not a punter. I got way laid. There's been a mix-up. I don't belong here with the shit munchers. Do I look like a civilian? You are going to be so embarrassed in about five minutes. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm in the band. I'm in the band. Excuse me. So, sorry. Excuse me. I'm in the band. He's got the stage. I'm in the band. Shit. I was only half an hour late and he's already back in the band. Oi! That's... I'm here! Yeah, it's me! I say, lads, feet! Hey! The baby said he was in the band. Oh, I'm in the band, all right. Yeah? I just crossed the fourth wall. Mm, 
crowd pleaser. Why do you have to bring Daryl? He's a bit boring, isn't he? Oh, boring. What, because he doesn't go around with a haircut and a, an iPod and piercings and a strap-on? Strap-on? It's an example. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I ordered uh, three pilau rice and three peshwari naans. It's, it's all right, Jeremy. It's all right. I changed the order. There's always rice left. It's not all right. Bring us three pilau rice and four peshwari naans, please. I've shared enough rice with you, Mark. I'm in the big league now. Four naan, Jeremy. Four? That's insane. So, what am I going to pay you to do in my band? That's very kind of you, Jez, but you don't want to overstretch yourself. Bollocks. I'm a very generous guy. Daryl's bringing his corps anglais, Nancy's singing. What are you going to do? Well, we did once talk about me doing a kind of Jean-Michel Jarre thing on the keyboards. Mm-hmm. Or, I was sort of hoping you'd say you want to be the manager. Yeah? You could order me around, which you'd enjoy, but I'd be your boss. Could be kind of confusing. In a good way. Three more beers for the three musketeers, huh? Ooh. Ah. 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 So, has Jeff said anything about...? I've already said, I don't wish to converse with you further. You're a promise breaker and a tom-tailed tit. Sophie! Hi, Mark. Um, listen, can I come in? Of course! Uh, Sophie, are you OK? Yeah, fine. I, I hate him! I hate him! I hate him! There, there, Sophie. It, it's fine. It's OK. Come through. Come through with good old Mark. Her breast is just brushing my side there. I shouldn't be here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's OK. I'll make us a nice cup of tea. It's my fault, I suppose, for always picking wankers. Does... does he beat you, Soph? God, no. I mean, he broke a plate once, but... Does he come at you with a stick, Soph? No, never. It's nothing like that. He does beat you, though, mentally, and with his hands and with his fists. No. Hey, Soph. You OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting my head together. God, your head, is it OK? Oh, hi. Hi, Jeff. You're downstairs. Do I know where Soph is? Uh, no. No, mate, no idea. Right, OK. <coughs> right, so sorry about that then, mate. Yeah, bye. What? Why did you cough? Because I've got a cough. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. <coughs> I'm phlegmy. Bollocks! You gave him a signal! Oh, Jesus! Can a man no longer have a cough without being taken to bloody Guantanamo Bay? Yeah, well, actually, I'm trying to have a conversation here, actually. It's all right, Mark. So, sounds like your relationship was a prison, with one innocent prisoner, you, and one guard, Jeff. Well, it's a passionate relationship. Right. That must be horrible. That's Jeff. Oh, how coincidental, Jeremy. How very coincidental. This could be a coincidence. Easily. Hello? You're not wanted here, Jeff. Get away from oh, here. shouldn't we just... I need to see Soph. I mean, him and Sophie, they are... Get away from the door, Jeff, or I will give you the broom. Mark, I need to see Sophie. I'm gonna give you the broom, Jeff. I'm gonna broom you. Don't worry, Soph. I'm giving him the broom. Mark, you can't broom him. He's my mate. He's a solid gold mate. How did Soph find out about that girl in the pub, Jez? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, look, just let me in, mate. Please, Jez. I need to see Soph. No, we all hate you, Jeff. You're a cocksucker. Jez told me about your fling, your friendship's bullshit, and you're a fuckhead. It isn't bullshit. Let him in. Let me in, Jez. Please. Oh, God. Mark or Jeff. Jeff's proper, normal. I could make a new life. I could learn to like football and live with him and learn his ways. We'd have a laugh and I could be in the mainstream of the culture instead of lying like a freak in our weird puddle. Oh, fuck. I can't do it. I can't do it, Jeff. I can't do it. <laughs> you lose, Jeff. You lose. <laughs> How dangerous am I now, eh? Huh? Let him in, Mark. 
Sophie, you, you, you don't need to do this. There, there are places you can go to. Women's refuges. Just open the door. We need to talk. Jeff, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to... Brilliant, Mark. My mate and your woman have just gone off to fuck each other. What are we going to do now? Go and make a tent in the living room and eat Dairy Lee? Is that what you want? Because that's what's going to happen.